Today we have the pleasure of having uh, Madam Ambassador Her Excellency from Ethiopia. Glad. Thank you, Madam, for your valuable time in joining us today. The round table will be starting uh, subsequent to this, and you will be getting uh, more data and more inputs uh, from Madam regarding Ethiopia and their relations. Uh, our additional secretary also will be joining us in some time. So you, uh, the release has been given to you and uh, we would be glad uh, to give you any kind of uh, clarifications and uh, questions that you might have. So uh, this uh, region of Tamil Nadu and in South India, we are very far from Delhi. And uh, an extension of all the trade and commerce development for various cities of South India uh, is being initiated by uh, the office here. And uh, we are hoping and looking for a lot of cooperation uh, from our Ministry of External Affairs and also from the various embassies. And Madam Excellency from the UK Embassy is giving us all the support for uh, developing these trade relations uh, and uh, other social and cultural aspects of uh, building and strengthening these bilateral relationships. So I would uh, I would leave the floor to you to uh, ask any questions that you might have. In the press conference, we are also joined by Mr. Chris Paul, who is uh, spent 20 years in Africa and is the Vice Chairman of the India Africa Trade Council. And uh, he is also going to be a very rich resource on understanding India and African trade relations. He is here and we finally have our host in Tamil Nadu, uh, Mr. Ram Krishnan, who is going to be uh, an appointed director today of the India Trade Council office, the Africa Trade Council specifically uh, addressing the Komisar region uh, because Africa is a very big continent, a very big region and uh, we have divided into different zones and so we have got uh, the Komisar director and he is going to be uh, taking a lot of initiatives in building these uh, multilateral relationships with different countries and uh, today our focus country is Ethiopia and uh, it's a very important country for us, for India Therefore, we will be looking forward for all the support and for all the encouragement from Madam Excellency. Uh, I thank you very much and I can uh, allow you to consulting services, to these consulting business, the merger acquisitions, and syndication priority, etc. As part of the portfolio, we also handle uh, corporates, which means that across industries uh, we serve. That is one of the reasons why uh, I was invited for the uh, webinar which took place on November 30th. I was asked to get, make a presentation on uh, Comesa of Indian uh, Comesa relationship. So uh, I did the presentation. Where I found that uh, most of the African countries, yeah, between Africa and India, we have a lot of things in common. For example, the uh, forest, forest reserves as also the agri reserves, quite huge, quite huge. Uh, which is not being tapped properly, that's what I feel. So that needs to be a focus uh, for the first, uh, first uh, to start the relationship. Uh, now COVID, I think is one of the uh, uh, key things that is happening in the world. Uh, in India, basically, we found that uh, COVID did not affect people who have a good immunity with us. And those people who had a clean life, uh, they're not been affected. Disciplined food, not been affected. So uh, most of the food what we take, particularly in South Indians, uh, like our, uh, you know, uh, uh, turmeric, uh, garlic, all these are, uh, you know, add blended or added to the, uh, uh, as a spice to these foods. So therefore, the immunity level has gone up uh, very well. So therefore, most of this was not affected by the uh, food. So uh, that's one. The second, so which means agro-pharmaceuticals and astrocyticals will be one of the focus areas uh, in the relationships I'm going to take it forward. And particularly from Tamil Nadu and uh, Pondicherry and Kerala, I think uh, all of us agree that we have focus on uh, agro uh, results. So, uh, for example, uh, I can tell you a few products which you are trying to uh, know, uh, introduce. For example, for the eye, uh, vitamin A is a, a key component. Uh, it's a product called beta carotene. Beta carotene is uh, chemically manufactured worldwide. But the same beta carotene is available in Lugin algae which can be you know, developed in lands in uh, Kerala and uh, uh, Tamil Nadu. So these are the very good substitutes for uh, chemical products. So like this uh, with uh, African countries, particularly commercial countries, 
you can definitely have a, a long way to go. And I am sure with the size of these two uh, continents, the continent and the continent, I think uh, we will take a, a, a very good space in the uh, global map uh, shortly. Thank you. Countries we have is a good understanding um, of how things work or how they not work, um, what can be done and what should be done. Um, it is also my opinion that whatever work is done between um, India and uh, any African state is that the partners are to be of equal standing, that there is not one junior partner in it. Um, the pluses are, of course, that both the, the, the countries of Africa and India all are developing countries, and so is India developing countries. So it is not a sort of top-down kind of um, attitude, I think, that will be approached. There, that we have um, Comesa here joining us with a office in Chennai is all significant because the, uh, the entrance to South India by sea is Chennai. And I look forward to be part of this incredible journey that is about to be undertaken more, more vigorously than ever before for bringing um, the African continent and the mystic India together. Thank you. I would like to say thank you uh, very much for um, Dr. Asif for organizing this special event and also for the India Africa Trade Council and the India Economic Trade Organization. Uh, as it has been said, India and Africa have had a long years relationship and the relationship can be uh, seen from both political, economic and technical and also diplomatic collaboration and uh, there are so many Indian who are living in different places in Africa and among all the trade relations between India and Africa is increasing from time to time and when we come specifically to Ethiopia, Ethiopia has started its relation with India in the first century, where the Indian trader used to go to Ethiopia to sell their silks and uh, spices, whereas they used to buy golds and different kind of precious material from Ethiopia. So this uh, long years relationship has grown into a uh, better uh, diplomatic level and Ethiopia is the first African country that has started it is embassy established its embassy in, in, in India in 1994 in 1948 just one year after the independence of India this really shows the historic relationship between India and uh, Ethiopia so I believe uh, even if there are currently uh, there are uh, more than uh, 600 Indian companies that are operating in Ethiopia, working in different kind of uh, uh, sectors, but I believe the formation of uh, this uh, Indian Trade Council would really help to boost the already existing good relationship between many different countries and India and also with Ethiopia. So uh, I, I, I again uh, want to congratulate. Dr. Asif for this initiation and also I want to acknowledge the fact that the, the, the formation of such kind of uh, trade council would be uh, an eye-opener and also a gate, a gateway to just go and uh, look for what is really going on in Ethiopia because in Ethiopia and also in Africa because uh, Ethiopia, uh, India and Africa really share uh, a lot of commonalities. There are many things, you can call it in culture, you can call it in, 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 in different kind of uh, uh, sentiments, relation, and also even the fight against colonialism and whatever kind of thing. So taking all this into consideration, the formation of such kind of uh, trade council would really help to strengthen the relationship between Africa and India, and also specifically when we come to Ethiopia, since we still have a very strong relation with India, 
we want uh, to use this initiative as a means to go into uh, the second level. And thank you so much. Of Africa every month, each and May, and the launch of Africa's special economic zone in Kolar on 100 acres land parcel for the collaboration of African companies is of high priority and high concern this year. And I now invite about it that uh, South India and the manufacturing here, the services, they provide an important component of India's exports to Africa and in particular to Eastern Southern Africa. Uh, we are we have a special focus on this area today. And uh, equally, uh, one of the important things that link India with Ethiopia are our students. Uh, a large number of Ethiopian students come and study here in India. Of course, they study all over the country, but uh, since so many uh, good institutions are located in South India, so there too, it's a... Uh,